Hey everyone, welcome back to Playground Sessions YouTube channel. Ton of awesome things going on right now that I'm excited to share. Number one, we're offering a 30 day free trial, no strings attached, of the Playground Sessions app. You hear me talking about the app all the time, well now you get to try it and get exactly what a paid member gets for 30 days. You also get three free song credits as a bonus for signing up, which means after you download the app for free, you can browse the song store and pick some song lessons to start with at no cost. Click the link in the video description below to create your account and start your free trial. Another awesome thing that I'm doing is that I'm teaching you how to play Despacito. Now in and of itself, that's pretty cool. But I thought what I'd like to do is show you that in Playground we've got three different difficulty levels of every song. But on YouTube I usually just show you one. Well for Despacito I decided I'm going to show you the chorus for every difficulty level that we have in the app. In a different video I already showed you how to do the rookie level chorus. If you haven't learned that one yet and you think you might be a rookie level player, and this one might be too tough for you, then tap the card above, that'll take you to the rookie level video where I show you how to do the beginner chorus. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do the intermediate level chorus, the next step up. I've also got a third video in this Despacito series where I walk you through how to play the chorus at the advanced level. Tap the card above if you wanna check out the advanced level video. And guys, if you haven't seen my man David Sides play his version of Despacito on the piano, it'll blow your mind. His arrangement is, I guess I would say, the expert level arrangement, and I'm gonna leave that one to David, but I'm happy to show you rookie, intermediate, and advanced. But guys, tap the card above to head to David's video. It's awesome. So much awesome things going on, but guys, let's not forget about the music, about why we're here today. We wanna to learn how to do this. So without further ado, let me show you what you're gonna be learning today in this video. Let's go ahead and dive in, starting with the right hand melody. Now for this level arrangement, we have this in B minor as well. Two sharps, F sharp and C sharp, key of B minor. And the time signature is the same as it was in the rookie level arrangement. We've got it in a cut common time. That allows us to play these faster rhythms without the notes looking too intimidating on the staff. Now I've got some great news for you guys who already learned the rookie level arrangement. This right hand part for the chorus is exactly the same. The left hand is what we have beefed up to make the arrangement go from rookie to intermediate level. So what I wanna do is kinda of go through the right hand part a little quickly, and then we'll focus on the new things in the left hand. Why don't we do this at a medium tempo to start? One, two, set, go. D, C sharp, B. Change hand positions and change back. Five on D again. Change. Syncopation. And there we have it. Again, I know I breezed through that, but it's the same right hand part as we had in the rookie level arrangement, so I went a little quicker. If you guys need a little extra help with that, pause, rewind, and play it back, or head over to the rookie level video and I'll break it down for you. But let's try this at full tempo now. One, two, set, go. Now let's talk about this left hand. In the rookie level arrangement, we just played single note roots. So for the B minor chord, which is our first chord, we just played a B. But this time we're gonna add a lot more depth to the arrangement by filling out the left hand. Instead of just playing a single whole note, we're gonna play across a range of an octave. And we're gonna add some rhythm. Quarter note, quarter note, half note. 
We're gonna do that same pattern through each one of these chords. So for the G chord, we're gonna drop down G, D, G. Okay, for the D chord, same thing. And the A chord, same thing. See how easy that is? Second line, same idea. We just repeat the same chord progression with the same pattern. So let's go ahead and try this now, left hand at medium tempo. One, two, set, start with rest, and B. Down to G. Up to D. And down to A. Now we rest, look ahead, here comes B again. So again, pause, rewind, play back until you're comfortable at that tempo. But now let's try it at full speed. One, two, set, go. Great work. Now all we need to do is put these hands together. So let's do that now. Starting with our medium tempo. One, two, set, go. All right, guys, we're so close. All we need to do now is speed this up to full tempo. But don't forget, when you're done with this section and you wanna learn the rest at the intermediate level, you gotta get the Playground Sessions app, you'll see all the rest of the parts in the song store. Not with video lessons with me walking you through, but with something even better, interactive feedback. Which of course means when you're playing along, it'll grade you. How cool is that? And let me remind you, for now, we're offering a 30-day free trial of the app with three free song credits as a bonus. So now's the time to act. Click the link in the description of this video to start your free trial today. All right, let's wrap this up. Hands together at full tempo for the intermediate chorus. Let's do it. Excellent work. I'll see you guys soon for some more video lessons. Thanks for watching. The features you saw on screen today can be at your fingertips with the Playground Sessions app. Co-created by music legend Quincy Jones, Playground teaches the piano with interactive feedback and gaming features, all while using your favorite songs. All right, guys, I'm Phil. Hit subscribe so I can see you for the next video.